guys, it's Christy. I am here with another installment in my springtime card series. Today I'm going to be using this stamp set by Mama Elephant. I've used this previously in the series, but um, it's just one of my favorite stamp sets right now and I can't seem to get enough of it. So we're going to use it again. And I'm also using the FemFrames dies as well as the dies that match the Up and Away stamp set. And then this paper pad from Pebbles, which is called Garden Party. And I've showed that in a haul video previously. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I have gone ahead and stamped out my bunny on a little piece of Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White Cardstock. And I'm going to zoom in to color him really quick. All right, so here's our bunny, and I want to color him really lightly. This is actually going to be for the April challenge at the Mama Elephant blog. They are doing a challenge where the winner gets a spot on their design team. I think just for a six month term or something like that, but I absolutely love Mama Elephant, and I think it would be so awesome to work with those wonderful ladies. They're just so creative, and so I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, so the challenge has a color palette that's kind of like a, a really beachy or soft springtime feel. It's got some different colored bottles that are in like aquas and light greens and there's some whites mixed in there and a tiny bit of yellow. Um, so that's the color palette that I'm going for. So I'm going to keep him nice and light. I'm going to consult my Spectrum Noir color chart really quick here. Mm, I think I'm going to go with the IG1 and 2, the uh, ice grays, just because I want to keep it really um, soft and cool. So I'm going to begin with the IG1. And I'm just going to lay in just a little bit of color, not too much. I want to keep him looking mostly white, so we're just wanting to lay some shadows in, not actually color him completely in. I'm going to leave a lot of white space, just coloring in those spots where there would be shadows, and I'll leave it at that. I'm going to take my IG2. And I'll just deepen some of those just a little bit, not too much. I have really fallen in love with the Mama Elephant stamps. They kind of came out of nowhere for me. Um, I hadn't really realized that they were around until um, just when I started buying their stamps a little bit ago because once I did see them, I just instantly fell in love. And I think their designs are just really adorable and their sentiments are just as cute and clever as can be. And I'm taking my IG1 again and just blending that out just a little bit. Okay, I think that's about it. I'm going to take my colorless blender now and I'm really going to try to fade that out. I want to make him white as possible but I don't want him to be flat which is the reason for adding those grays along the outside edge. Okay, just fading that out as much as possible, keeping that color wet and moving. And I don't think I can resist adding just a tiny bit of pink to his cheeks, even though that's not really on the inspiration photo. There's no pink, but um, it is just supposed to be inspiration. So I'm going to go with the PP1 because that's the palest pink that I've got or that is in the Spectrum Noir color line and um, 
Let's see, I think I'm going to tie in one of the other colors here. Hmm, I think I might go with the DG1 and 2 just to give him a tiny bit of color on his belly. I know that's not very realistic to give a, a bunny a green belly, but uh, it does tie in the color palette, so I'm going to go for it and see what I think. I'm just laying in that DG1. Just a tiny bit of it, and then I'll take the DG2, and just outline that a tiny bit, just to give it a little bit of a darker shadow, and then I'll take my DG1 and blend that out again. And then I'll take my colorless blender one more time and just fade out that little edge there. Okay? Alright, so that's our bunny. Now I have the umbrella stamped on a little strip of pattern paper from that paper pack from Pebbles. And the first stamp didn't give me quite a good enough impression. I had a lot of like spotting on the line, so I stamped it a second time and got a much better impression there. So I'm going to just leave it like this, but I do want to add a little bit of shading just because um, I don't want it to look flat. So I think I'm going to just use the same ice grays, those cool grays. I'll use the one and two. I'll start with the one and just kind of give a little shadow up underneath the umbrella here. Kind of bring that down a little bit so it looks like it's underneath. A little bit in the corners up here. I don't want to change the color palette too much. I want to keep it that fresh color, but I just want the shadows to be a little more pronounced, like I said, so it gives it more of a 3D effect, you know, a rounded effect instead of just being flat. So now I'm going to take that IG2. I'm just sticking really close to the underneath here, right along the edge. I'm going to darken that up, okay? And that's all I'm going to do for that. I'm going to take these two and I'm going to head over to my cuddle bug and die cut those out with the matching dies. And I'll be right back to finish the card. All right, so while I die cut those images out, I also went ahead and did a little more die cutting. I used the Femme Frame dies to cut out a piece of pattern paper and a piece of vellum that has like a swirly print on it. And then I also used the Landscape Trio die to cut out the cloud pattern from this piece of paper that says rain, rain, go away, come again another day, which I thought went really well with our card. And now I've pulled out these Sakura Glaze pens. I just purchased these and showed them in a recent haul. And I just want to add a little detail to the eyes. Um, I've seen Nicole McGuark do this uh, many, many times, and I think it's so darling. Um, so I just want to um, add that little bit of shine to his eyes. I'm going to be really careful because I'm not sure how fast these are going to flow. And I'm just going to fill in his little nose right there. And then I'm going to set that aside to dry. I'm going to adhere this blue gingham piece to our card front. Just add a little bit of tape runner to the back with my ATG. And I'm just going to get that lined up. And I'll press that into place. Now I'm going to take the cloud shape and I'm going to just adhere it really carefully with a quickie glue pen um, on some of these little stitch lines that the die makes. I'm hoping that hopefully you won't be able to see too much if I just add a few here and there because I don't want that adhesive to really show through the vellum and I know it's coming out blue right now but it does dry clear. So I'm just adding that in a couple little places where I hope it will be invisible. 
and then I'm going to line up the stitched portion of that vellum shape. And by the way, this layering of vellum over the clouds is also an idea that I got from Nicole McGuark. I absolutely love her channel and I love all her creations. And that was something that I saw on one of her recent videos that I just blew my mind. <laughs> so I'm just going to set an acrylic block on that so that can dry. And now I'm going to work on my sentiment. So I've taken the sentiment, it's a good day to be happy, which I thought also went well with our rain, rain, go away, because um, it's choosing to be happy in spite of the rain or in spite of the disappointments or whatever is going on. And um, I'm going to take my little bunny now and I'm going to put a little slit into his hand so that he can hold on to his umbrella. Just going to cut really carefully right along that black line of his hand. I don't want to go the whole way through, but just enough that he can hang his little hand over the umbrella handle. Okay, and now I've got that together. I'm going to just see where I want him on the card and I'm thinking something like this so I can go ahead and adhere him down and I think I'll use a little Tombow Mono for that so I'm just gonna flip him over and add a little bit of adhesive to the back okay And then I'll adhere him down to the vellum piece. Now I'm going to take some dimensional adhesive and I'm going to add it to the bottom yeah. under our cloud piece. And then I'll also add some behind the bunny and behind the umbrella. So the vellum won't be adhered down at the top, but that's okay. Maybe I'll add just one more down here. And then I can adhere this to our card front. Just lining that up. I'm going to trim it off right down on this side. And then I will flag this end. And I'll take a couple of more dimensionals there. And I'll add that right over on the right side. I've got some of the Pretty Pink Posh Springtime Mix and the Sparkling Clear. And I want to add just a couple of sequins. I'm just going to add some of the blue and green, I think, from this pack to keep in line with the colors that are on the challenge and then maybe a couple of the four millimeter sparkling clear okay i think something like that looks good so i'll take my little bottle of glossy accents and i'm going to use this little pick me up tool this is by uh, the silhouette and i'm just going to use that to pick up my sequins add a dab of glossy accents and then this little piece comes out of the back so you can press those into place okay and that's our card thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and uh, don't forget about that mama elephant challenge that's running all month so if you're interested in winning a spot on their uh, design team as a guest then go ahead and go over there and use their inspiration photo as a challenge and enter to win okay thank you guys so much i'll see you next time bye bye